Every year on Christmas Eve, we read this story, and I've always imagined that there's no room at the inn. I've envisioned a first century equivalent to the Holiday Inn with the no vacancy sign. And I've envisioned a stranger telling Mary and Joseph that there's no room for them, and then they are ushered into some sort of barn or stable off to the side of the property. But this year, I heard tell of a word, katalume, which is the word in Greek that is often translated as in. But it turns out, according to some of the scholars, that a better translation would be guest room. So Mary and Joseph went to Joseph's hometown. They wouldn't be with strangers. They would be with family. They wouldn't be alone, but rather, there was no room because the house was probably literally filled to bursting at the seams with family members. So while we're told there's no room in the guest room, the family does make room. So I saw some of these images, and I invite you to see with me perhaps what sort of setting Jesus is said to have been born. So if you look there, upstairs would be where people would live, and downstairs would be sort of the barn area. So if there was no room for them upstairs, room would have been made downstairs. Kind of all within earshot of the bursting at the seams family. They would not have been alone. The women of Joseph's family were likely there helping. And we hear that they wrapped Jesus snugly and laid him in a place where there was already so much life. The family members aplenty and the animals that provided for the family. This is the scene into which Jesus is born. So it begs the question, do we make room for Jesus? This, word, this poem is entitled, um, There is Room, by the Reverend Sarah Speed. I invite you to hear these words. The world may feel like one long stretch of night, but we can still open the door. We can't calm every storm, but we can turn the porch light on. We can add chairs to the table. We can keep the sheets clean on the guest bed, we can hold the elevator, we can learn pronouns, we can tell stories of belonging and take turns learning, we can study privilege and advocate for mental health, we can insist every single day there is room. There is room for you here. We can't calm every storm but we can turn the porch light on. So we ask, do we make room? Gaze at this icon or religious art created by artist Kelly Lattimore, Christ in the Rubble, which illustrates the prophetic message that perhaps if Jesus was born today, he would be born under the rubble. And Kelly Lattimore says that he wants his art to be a holy pondering, a process that potentially brings about a new way of seeing. So as the words of the poem stated, and as this image allows us to see in new ways, we are invited to consider how we might make room. We can make room in so many ways. We can make room in simple, everyday ways. So friends, I invite us to consider just that. How we can make room this Christmas Eve. I invite us to commit to make room tomorrow on Christmas Day. And I challenge us to make room throughout the 12 days of Christmas. And I urge us to keep making room, day in and day out. 
So tonight on the holiest of nights, let the question swirl around and within you, how can I make room? For when we make room for Jesus, born on this holiest of nights, we know that hope and peace and joy and love that we talk about this season will be among us and around us. So Merry Christmas, dear ones. Amen.